So we're talking about normal histology. And believe me, this is a perfectly oriented piece of duodenum. You seldom get it oriented like this. So let's look at the various parts. So you have the villi, which look like finger-like processes. These are the crypts down here. And there's muscularis mucosae, only a sliver of muscularis mucosae. The first thing you'll notice is that there is a normal cryptovillus ratio. There are four villi, all standing tall and perfectly oriented. This cryptovillus ratio, and the way you measure it is this is the villus area, and from here down here is the crypt. That is at least four, if not five is to one. Normally, it should be more than three is to one. The cryptovillus ratio is three is to one. If you look at the epithelial cells themselves, you'll see two types. You'll see absorptive cells, and then you'll see goblet cells. And here are the goblet cells. The absorptive cells, when you go really high, and I'm not gonna be able to show it to you, they'll have a brush border, apical cup of cytoplasm, basal nuclei. Now you will see scattered lymphocytes. Here's one, a dark cell, here's another. Normally, you should be seeing less than 20 lymphocytes per 100 epithelial cells. That translates into one lymphocyte per five epithelial cells. When it crosses 25, that is abnormal and that gets into the spectrum of celiac disease, but there are many other conditions that cause that increase in intraepithelial lymphocytes. You'll see a few muscle fibers in the lamina propria here. Here are the goblet cells. Let's look at the crypts themselves, right? So this is the crypt, much, much smaller. The crypt cells always look a lit, lot darker. At the very base, you'll have these cells with apical granular cytoplasm, brick red granules. These are panet cells. Between panet cells lie stem cells, and you can't really see them. As they mature out, you start seeing absorptive cells, you start seeing goblet cells. You don't really see panet cells, lie stem cells, and you can't see endocrine cells on the H&E, but believe me, they are there. This is normal lamina propria. There is a sprinkling of lymphocytes and plasma cells, mostly through the apical compartment. It generally gives you this very pink look. If you see a blue look, you're talking of an expanded lamina propria, and that's another feature of celiac disease. So one more thing about intraepithelial lymphocytes. In general, the number of intraepithelial lymphocytes is fewer on the top, and there are more intraepithelial lymphocytes in the base. So there's this decrescendo pattern of lymphocytes. And here you can see there's very many more lymphocytes at this crypt base.